Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are membership functions and what are the features of membership functions in fuzzy logic with the help of simple examples. First, we will understand what is a fuzzy set, then we will go to membership function. Fuzzy set may be viewed as an extension or a generalization of a basic uh, crisp set. Again, there is a question comes in front of us so like what is a crisp set here? Then only we can understand the extension or generalization in this case. Now, let us say that we have been given a set uh, A which has four elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, what actually happens here is uh, each of these elements are either present in the set A or they are not present. For example, 1 is present in set A, 2 is present in set A, 3 and 4 are present in set A. When you say that element 5, element 5 is not present in this set A. So, whatever the elements present or listed here, they are present in the set A, and whatever they are not listed, they are not present in the set A. So, there are only two possibilities, element is present or not present. So, that is what is called as the crisp set. But in fuzzy set, the extension or generalization is given for this concept with the help of uh, something known as uh, partial membership. That is, for each of these elements, rather than assigning either 0 or 1, that is, either it is present or not present, we can assign uh, something known as uh, partial membership. That is, let's assume that for element 1, we can assign a membership value as 0.6. What is the meaning of this one is 60% uh, of the time the element is present, 40% of the time this element is not present. Similarly, for the second element, let's assume that I will assign 0.3. The meaning of this one is 30% of the time this element is present and remaining 70% of the time it is not present. So, that is what is known as the partial membership for each of these elements here. So, this is also known as the degree of membership for each and every element and this will range between 0 and 1 in this case. Now, the next question comes in front of us is, what is membership function? Membership function is a curve that defines how each point in the input space is mapped using the membership values between the range of 0 and 1 here. That is, let's assume that there are some elements are present in a particular physics set. Now, how each of those elements are mapped with respect to membership value between 0 and 1, that will be shown with the help of curve here. And that is known as the membership function. Let's take an example. In this case, uh, the membership uh, value is represented on y-axis and the elements are represented on x-axis here. And you can notice here, this is the curve which represents the uh, mapping of uh, each element against the membership value. That is, uh, you can see here, this is one element uh, where the membership value may be around 0.2 maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and the membership value is equal to 1 here and the membership value is getting decreased here. For each of the elements present in the fuzzy set, we have represented those elements with the help of curve against what is known as the membership value here. So, this is what is known as the membership function in fuzzy set. Now, uh, we can define this membership function formally something like this. Let's say that a fuzzy set A in the inverse of discourse X uh, defined something like this. Fuzzy set A is represented with a pair. Uh, one is the element and another one is uh, the membership value of that particular element for each element in that uh, inverse of discourse here. Where uh, mu x of A is nothing but the membership uh, function of fuzzy set A in this case. So, in uh, membership function what we do here is uh, we map this input uh, space against the membership space M here. So, that is what is known as the membership function in the fuzzy set. As said earlier, the membership value ranges uh, between 0 and 1 here. Now, coming back to the features of uh, membership functions, there are mainly three features. The first one is known as the core. The core of a membership function for some fuzzy set A is defined as that region of the universe that is characterized by the complete membership in fuzzy set A. That is nothing but you can see here. In this membership function, uh, the element starts from here and they will end here. For each of these elements, uh, there is some uh, membership values assigned here. Now, the core is that part of this uh, membership function where the membership value of that element is equal to 1. So, that is what is known as the core here. So, you can see here, from here to here, the membership value of each element is equal to what? 1 here. So, that is what is known as the core of the membership function in this case. Now, the second feature of membership function is the support here. The support of a membership function for a fuzzy set A is defined as that region of universe that is characterized by non-zero membership of that fuzzy set. The meaning of this one is uh, uh, if a particular element's membership value is non-zero, that is known as the support here. 
Now, if you look at this one, let's assume that there is one element here. So, what is the membership value? It will be more than 0 and less than 1 here. If there is one more element is present here, the element's uh, membership value is more than 0 and less than 1 here. So, for all those elements whose membership value is greater than 0, they are called as the support in this case. So, the support will start from here and it will end over here because for all those elements, the membership value is greater than 0 in this case. So, the support uh, starts here and it will end over here. Let's say that uh, there is a fuzzy set uh, where the support is a single element uh, with you can say that the membership value is equal to 1. Uh, there is only one element and the uh, elements uh, membership value is equal to 1. Such a fuzzy set is called as a fuzzy singleton in this case. Coming back to the last uh, feature of a membership function that is known as boundary. The boundary of a membership function for a fuzzy set A is defined as that region of universe containing the elements that have non-zero but not complete membership. That means you can see here if I consider any element from here to here the element is having the membership value greater than 0 but less than 1 here. Similarly, from here to here, the element is having the membership value less than 1 and greater than 0 here. It may be present here, it may be present here or it may be over here. But if the element is present here, the membership value is equal to what 1? That is known as the complete membership. So, the boundary contains all those elements whose membership value is greater than 0 but less than 1. The meaning is this part Again, this part. These are the only two parts where the boundary comes into picture. So, that is the reason you can see here from here to here all those elements are called as the boundary. From here to here whatever the elements are there, they are called as boundary in this case. Now, that can be shown uh, mathematically something like this. If the membership value is greater than 0 and less than 1, that is known as the boundary here. Now, how to calculate this boundary? Uh, th there is one simple trick. If you know the support and core, the support minus core is nothing but you can say that the boundary over here. So, this is the simplest technique to calculate the elements which are present on the boundary of a membership function here. In this video, I have discussed what are fuzzy sets and how they are different from the standard Chris sets with the help of simple example. Also, I have discussed what are membership functions and how they are defined mathematically and what are the features of membership functions like core, support and boundary with the help of examples. I hope the concept of uh, fuzzy sets, membership functions and the features of membership function is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.